Hey guys, how's it going? Um, so I just had kind of posted this up on Snapchat about maybe 10, 15 minutes um, ago, just telling people to come to the channel. I also put it up on Periscope and Twitter. So as a little social experiment, if you are here going see me live from Snapchat, just say hello and say hi. Just let me know that uh, you're here from Snapchat. If you're here from Periscope, then it'd be great if you could also let me know that uh, you're here from Periscope or Twitter. So it is extremely, extremely hot. If you are here from uh, listening in from St. John's, I think it's like 27, 28 degrees, maybe even hotter, and it is like super hot. You can probably even like see like sweat coming off my forehead. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the weather, although we love to do it as Newfoundlanders. We are here to talk about Facebook on Facebook. So, in case you didn't notice today, uh, Facebook came out with um, a pretty big and a major update regarding their newsfeed, and that they're going to begin to give prominence to anyone to personal updates. Um, if you've been reading the research on Facebook, or you actually, hey Chrissy, how you doing? Um, if you've been watching the research lately on Facebook and you have a Facebook page, you've noticed that your Facebook organic reach is actually, you know, it's dwindling. It's it's going down a lot. Um, I think, hey Patty, how's it going? Um, I think it's actually going down from since January, perhaps 42%, which is, that's, that's, that's drastic for anyone that's put a lot of time and energy into their Facebook strategy and their Facebook pages um, over the last seven, eight, nine years. So what they've done now is they've given more prominence to personal updates. Um, so why is this important uh, to you as a business? Um, it's important for a couple of reasons. Number one, user experience. Um, over the last year, the number of people posting personal updates on Facebook have went, has went down by 21%. So what that means is that not that less people are on Facebook, the daily active users are actually up, but people aren't posting updates. Um, and unfortunately what they're also not seeing, some of the feedback that Facebook is getting, is that they're not seeing the important stories that they want to see from their friends and family. What they want to see is, you know, graduations, babies, weddings, anniversaries, um, all the life events that Facebook was created for. Um, what people don't want to see uh, very often is the kind of, um, you know, all the business pages. And even as a Facebook user myself and a digital marketer, it's uh, your Facebook feed can get credited quite often with page feeds. And um, it's a bit of a deterrent uh, as a marketer and I know saying that as a, as a social media marketer and digital media digital media marketer um, is not easy so we need to make a change um, so what do we do one of the things that we have to begin to do is experiment um, kind of what I'm doing here right now one of the things that Facebook has invested heavily in over the last um, couple of months and I'm sure you've noticed this a lot is that there are a you know, they've taken a lot of things from, from other social networks such as Twitter and Periscope and they've introduced live streaming, which I'm doing right now. And, you know, as a pages and a business, sometimes that's not easy to jump into, but Facebook has been giving prominence to people who are using live video, like I'm doing now. So they want more and more people to do that. And what we're gonna to begin to see, I think over the next five years, and I've seen some recent research and other people posting this as well, is that you know, in five years time, there's a prediction that Facebook will actually be mostly video. Um, you know, we don't want to type anymore. At some point when Facebook first started, we were all posting our status updates um, by text. And then over the last year and a half, that's changed from text to photo. And now we're seeing that video is very, very prominent. Um, so one of the things that you can do is to experiment with live video as your business. That's definitely one suggestion that I would highly recommend. Um, another thing that I would recommend as well that would be super important is that Facebook don't want you to leave Facebook. They want you to stay on their platform um, just like any other network. They want you to stay on your platform as much as possible. So the other thing that they've done and they've introduced um, in you know probably within the last six months or so are Facebook instant articles. So what an instant article is, and I'm sure as you're browsing Facebook you'll actually notice this from you know moving forward, is that you find an article that a page has posted or someone has posted 
And then from there, uh, what's going to happen is that the article itself is kind of in Facebook. You actually don't jump out to the website. So if you've got a, a blog or a website that has, say, more than 10 articles, then what I would highly recommend is to connect with your web developer and ask them to look into the, uh, the, um, the development section on Facebook and switch your blog over so it's compliant with uh, Facebook Instant Articles. And that will actually give you um, more relevance on your Facebook post. The other thing that can be done as well is um, influencer marketing. So if you've been in the marketing space, I think um, especially I've kind of really noticed that a lot in the last uh, six to eight months and you're kind of seeing a lot of things jump out on Snapchat and uh, Facebook Live is that influ influencer marketing has become very, very important. And with the updates that Facebook has announced today, it's going to become even more important. So what you need to do as a brand is that you need to have an influencer marketing strategy. Um, so that's basically what you want to do there is to find out, you know, who matches up with your brand really well um, and then kind of partner with them and see if they can either do, you know, maybe it's Facebook Live takeovers. The uh, Snapchat um, lot, uh, takeover was quite popular um, and is quite popular. So is that a possibility or something that you can do with one, um, you know, with, with influencers? And then the other thing, and this is probably going to be um, difficult for some brands and not so much for others is you want to work on two things. One is employee advocacy and the second is brand advocacy or brand advocates. So what I mean by that is that, you know, let's take um, certain organizations that are around locally, uh, nationally, or internationally. And some employers will have, you know, it could be 100 employees, it could be 200 employees, it could be 300 employees. That's a small army of influencers. And if Facebook is going to give prominence to people who are posting personal updates, you need to find a way to engage with your employees and kind of get them to share all the, all the success stories that you have. So that might be, you know, the community support initiatives that you have. That might be some new product releases, some reviews, um, you know, getting people who are passionate, who work for you, to begin to show those updates on, fa on Facebook. Um, that's not an easy task. Uh, let's see, Woody Whitfield, suggestion to make Facebook Live better is so that a live feed shows up like an announcement so that we can actually join on a live feed instead of being it already over by the time we see more. Um, Weedy, I'll come back to that in a second because they actually made another update um, last week or earlier this week that's going to actually do exactly what you want there. So go back to the employee advocacy for a second and from there, so you need to find a way to engage your employees. There's going to be happy employees and non-happy employees obviously in each organization. Find your champions and your rock stars and get them to begin to share um, you know, a part of what their day is and the company that they work for. That's very important. Um, you know, in some companies, let's take the huge organizations, people that have like 500,000, some companies have 10, 15,000. You know, that's a massive, massive amount of opportunity for people to actually reach out um, to their friends and family and be proud about the place that they work. Um, I know that um, all the places that I've worked in the past, I've been very proud to work there and certainly no problem sharing stories. And I'm sure in many cases, if you look around, um, even you know especially locally you will see people who are very happy in their companies and when something happens in their company they share that and then it kind of spreads and spreads and spreads so i think uh, companies that kind of jump in on employee adv advocacy is going to do really well uh really quickly with the new um facebook update when that kind of comes in place the other thing that you want to begin to do so we've talked about influencer marketing and we've talked about employee advocacy uh, the next thing that you want to look for is brand advocacy. So these are the people that love you. They love your brand. Anytime that you post something is that they will actually share it. They share it with their friends and they, and they go from there. What you want to do is you need to find a way to find more of those people and to get them to begin to post the updates. Um, that's not a like and share contest. Those things you know, are, going to, are, fading, are fading away. You need to find the people that really love your brand um, and interact with those people and trying to get them to help promote you as much as possible as well. It's also not an easy strategy, but it's something that I think as you move ahead for the rest of 2016 and plan ahead for 2017 is something that you should certainly um, invest some time and energy into. So those are the things that you should be doing 
um, I think, in the short term. The other thing that I think it's very important is that we're always, um, I'm talking about Facebook on Facebook, um, but we also have to consider that there are other channels that exist. So if you've put all your eggs in one basket, um, and let's say that basket is Facebook, it may be time for you to, to expand your horizons and look to reach out and maybe it's time to invest in Twitter or invest in Instagram, invest in YouTube. And as much as people may not like it, it's time to invest in Snapchat. Uh, Snapchat is aging up very, very quickly. Um, you'll notice that a lot of the updates that other networks are making, even Facebook itself came out with one a couple of days ago, is that they're making their platforms very similar to that of Snapchat. So you, you know, you need to look at your other channels and see, you know, where are there opportunities to, you know, move people across platform. Um, you know, so if you've taken time over the last five or six years and you've built a large following on uh, Facebook, maybe it's time to begin to cross-pollinate and get those people to move over to other channels. And the last thing that I want to talk about with regards to um, your approach and how this update can affect you is that no matter what happens, you have to remember that when it comes to social media and all the platforms that you're on, you're only using rented space. So, you know, you don't own your Facebook page, you don't own your Twitter account, and that's not saying that you shouldn't do it, but what it means is that at the end of the day, you need to find a way to, to bring all your uh, fans and your people back, and the best way to do that, believe it or not, is still by email. Once you've gathered, once you've gathered a large email list, that's yours. That's not going to go away. And yes, maybe click-through rates for email is down, but the more people you can get to invest in your email list and the more of those employee advocates that you have, the more of those brand advocates that you have, then the more opportunity that your email is going to get through the inbox and you know a good segmentation plan and a good email marketing plan will always be yours and will not belong to Facebook or all the other social networks. So just to recap, and then I'm going to get back into... Um, Weedy's question is that so Facebook has changed their update. Uh, they're going to have more prominence on news feeds. So, what you can expect to see if you're a brand is that your organic reach is going to go down. So, you need to find ways to increase that organic reach. The, the recap there is to invest in live video if you have an opportunity. Uh, so speak to your social media manager or the agency that you're doing your social media work with um, and see how you can do that. And brainstorming an idea is not going to be a problem at all. Uh, the next thing that you can do is that you need to look to your employees and find ways, you know, what are the stories that you can kind of get out there. Obviously, there's a lot of um, customer community support issues that you can have that you can push and also benefits and things that are happening in your company that you, people want to be proud and share those as well. And the last is the brand advocates. So you need to find the people that love your brand for what and who you are and you need to engage with them as much as possible so that they can go and do a lot of the heavy lifting and the work for you. And finally, I um, also want to, the rec last thing is to recommend, is to, or that I recommend, is to cross-pollinate. It's time to uh, perhaps divest some of your social media strategy from Facebook, perhaps to Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube. There are so many channels that are out there today. You need to find a channel that works for you. So the only thing I can recommend there is that you need to test and experiment. Um, so that's that's it. That's the recap in terms of the big update that's happening on Facebook. Um, get ready for it. If you're a Facebook user, great news for you because what that means is that you're going to see more of your updates from friends and families and what's going on. Although you could always do that. Facebook has always given everyone the opportunity to control what they see and what they don't see. Um, but Facebook moving forward will have uh, more prominence on personal feeds and if you're a Facebook page then what you need to do is either pay to play um, if you want yourself to be seen or you need to find um, and perhaps go back regroup and find a new strategy in terms of the things that I've talked about earlier. So I want to go back now. Um, Weedy, add, Weedy, am I pronouncing your name right? I just want to make sure I'm not kind of not pronouncing it right because that wouldn't that wouldn't be nice. Um, but the first question was um, how to make live better so that live feed shows up like an announcement. So Facebook actually uh, has addressed this and they're coming out with some kind of new updates for Facebook Live. And basically it's very similar to, you know, if you're in the marketing space or in any space and people are announcing that they're going to actually have um, a webinar. So you can actually, what's going to happen is that you're going to be able to announce that, okay, I'm 
going to be on Facebook Live at this point in time, and there's going to kind of going to be like an old, um, like a placeholder, so people will be able to kind of join maybe um, 5, 10, 15 minutes before you actually go live. So again, it's very important to think about what your live uh, Facebook strategy or what your live streaming strategy is going to be. So they, they're aware um, of some of these adjustments, and they're, so they're going to be rolling out a number of changes soon. One of those is that there will be an opportunity for people to be able to, um, to just kind of let people know in advance and you can actually go and then see the announcement that you're going to, going to be live. The other thing that you can do as well uh, sometimes is that if you go to a person's Facebook page, um, what you'll see is that there's always an option kind of in the upper right hand corner um, where you can get a notified if that person goes live. So that's another option that you can do. And so anyone that's viewing right now, if you want to do that, you can also go and do that. For my page, um, I'm going to try to do more live video um, over the next little bit. Um, I don't. I just want to be able to give it a shot, and I think it's uh, something that I can hopefully do and provide value to anyone that's listening. So that's your first question. It's going to go back over to your next set of question. Another issue that I noticed. Um, that the comments fly by like crazy, uh, which is not happening right now. That's not happening right now because I don't have a large following, uh, so the comments aren't flying like crazy. Um, you know, like most, like uh, it would for you know someone like a Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, maybe a Jay Bear, you know, or like The Rock. Uh, some of those people when they go live. Um, so for that one, yeah, I, I don't, I haven't. In encountered that issue on my live feeds um, so yeah if there's ever a string of comments and it goes through then that's great um, but at this point the only thing that you can do there is you just kind of have to go through them one by one it's unfortunate um, I'm assuming and I'm thinking that you're not the only person that has this issue uh, so I would be I would not be surprised if Facebook finds a way to address that um, so yeah so that's it uh, final update there that's me just tuning in. I um, want to thank everybody for joining. And um, if you like these live video chats, please let me know in the comments below. And if there's any questions that you would like to me that you would like me to address um, in the near future, then you know I'm more than happy to kind of set up like a schedule and pick like either whether it's going to be in the nighttime, which is probably good for every, for a lot of people. Um, is to let me know what would you like to see from my channel? Um, is it kind of updates like this from Facebook or is it just my thoughts on certain subjects? Um, anyway, you let me know, take a minute. If you wanna add some comments, uh, that'd be great. And if not, then that's it for me. I'll stay here for another 30 seconds and if anyone has any questions, I will gladly answer them. If not, then I will be signing off. Okay, and final moment, if anyone knows me, they'll know how big of an NHL fan that I am. Wasn't that super crazy earlier today? In 20 minutes, Hall gets traded to the Devils, Stamco signs, and PK goes to Nashville and, and Weber goes back. That is insane. Anyway, this channel is not for hockey. Uh, maybe it should be at some point, but right now it's not. Okay, so no questions. That's it for me. I am signing off. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please leave a comment below. And if you didn't, then I guess I just won't see you in future um, live video chats. All right, everyone have a good night.